Dan Oman, Matt Bernier, the feature race at Golden Gate Fields on Saturday is the Grade 3 San Francisco Mile. $250,000 is the purse, a stakes-laden card at Golden Gate Fields on Saturday. Make sure you get involved with a DRF Bets account. Deposit $100, bet with $250. Learn more at bets.drf.com. Let's meet the field, getting set to go eight furlongs in the Grade 3 San Francisco Mile. And Matt, I want to start with the horse on the far outside. The number 10, River Boyne. This horse is a three-time graded stakes winner. He's been a bit unlucky in some of his recent starts, especially that Thunder Road stakes two starts back where he can really never get into the clear. Now, he draws a tough outside post position in this year's San Francisco Mile, but from a speed figure standpoint, from a running style standpoint, this horse looks very tough. Yeah, he checks a lot of boxes. He certainly does. There is a part of me that I... I, I want to look at it and say there's a chance that perhaps he's plateaued, that perhaps he's not improving, because for a while it looked like to me he could end up being a legitimate grade one type. And, he, and look, he was only a half length defeated in the Hollywood Derby last year by Raging Bull, but it just, I, I'm starting to wonder if, if this is what he is. And if that's the case, there's nothing wrong with that. He's going to win plenty of races. But I'm, I'm not sure that all of a sudden he's going to take that giant step forward that I was thinking he was and potentially be a, a Breeders' Cup type. And again, he doesn't have to do that to be a nice horse. But I just look at him in here and I say that outside post, given the fact that I don't think he's got a tremendous edge on anyone in here, I'll let him beat me. The number four is Le Ken, and I'm a big fan of Le Ken. He seems to try hard at big prices in most of his races, but it's worth noting he hasn't won since his final start in Argentina, a group one in December of 2016. That's a long time between drinks. And I wonder if the recent improvement has coincided with a little bit of a give in the ground at Santa Anita, and if he's better on good going than on firm. But Ron McAnally, the great Hall of Famer, has gotten this horse in good form, and he does have a versatile running style. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the kind of horse that even if you don't love him on top, I think you definitely need to consider him underneath. He has that versatility that you made mention of. And I look at him and I look at comparing to River Boyne and I say from a numbers standpoint, strictly a numbers standpoint, they're very similar horses at this time. So why wouldn't I take three times the price on Lequen as opposed to River Boyne? Another horse shipping up from Southern California is the number nine, Souter, who has just been on a roll for trainer Mark Glatt. This horse has won three out of his last four. He's been on the board in every start dating back to June 14th of 2018. And in that race, he got beat a scant length. He's in very good form. The key to this race is whether he has plateaued at the low 90 buyer level or whether he can take another step forward, because I think it's about a 95 that's going to win this race. The other thing that I'm a little bit intrigued with, you'll note that there's common ownership between Suter and River Boyne. Suter has a little bit of early speed in a race that I don't want to say is void of early speed, but you've got a couple of horses that want to be forward. I wonder if it's kind of one of those things we spoke about in one of the other previews that we did earlier at Oaklawn, talking about, you know what, best case, Suter works out a beautiful trip, sits just off the speeds, takes over and goes on and wins. Worst case scenario for Suter, he softens things up and helps his horse like River Boyne, who is his uncoupled state. Let's see what the time form U.S. pace projector has to say about this year's San Francisco Mile. I'd expect the six many roses to be on the lead. This is a stretch out sprinter that hasn't raced in 10 months. He should be fresh off of a long layoff. Ran a very good third in this race last year, but he had two preps coming into it. And this year he's coming into this race really fresh, stretching out. Boy, I think he's going to have to be left alone to equal his effort in this race last year at 21 to 1, and I just don't think that's going to be the case. And even if he is left alone, I look at it and say, I mean, th that's a long layoff, and I understand we're only going a mile, but at what point when the real running begins does he start to feel the effects of this long layoff? I think he's a nice horse when he's allowed to get out there and do what he wants, and I think he will here in this spot. I just think this might be a little bit too much off the bench. One of the local hopes is second on your pace projector. That's the three Mythkal, who has been in very good form for trainer Jonathan Wong, winning at 28% in 2019. This horse has been right there in his last three starts on synthetic. He has run well on turf in the past. His figs are a little bit light, and I just didn't love the field he was in against last time out. It was a short field. I thought they were okay horses. These are much better. Yeah, I, I question overall as far as his class and his quality is concerned. I think this race is going to take somewhere in that low 90 range. He hasn't gotten to that number in quite some time. And it feels like against better horses, he's just up against it. Choo Choo won the California Derby on synthetic as a three-year-old scored last time out, also on the tapita surface. By English Channel, we would expect him to be okay on the turf, and he is okay on the turf. I wonder if he's better on the synth. 
It's, it's possible. I mean, look, two of his victories have come out of that race is uh, the four that he's run on since. I just look at him from start to finish. I mean, go back to December of his two-year-old campaign. He was earning 81 buyers. Now he's earning 84 buyers. I just don't think he's really ever taken a step forward. Bowie as hero might very well be the key to this race. He is the number one. He has not raced since Del Mar in the summertime where he did nothing in the Del Mar Mile. I liked his race in the Eddie Reed two starts back where he was just last on the rail on the turn. He got bumped when he tried to get out in the stretch. He got checked in tight in between horses late. He ran back to that kill row earlier in 2018 where he popped a 103 buyer speed figure. He is a legitimate graded stakes horse. And in the Del Mar Mile, he showed no speed whatsoever as the favorite. He was never in the picture. He passed a couple of tired horses. Something physically must have gone amiss in that race for him to be gone for such a long time. The good news is his trainer, Phil D'Amato, excels with these kind of horses, as we see from this formulator fact. This is just over the last year. He's done well for the past five years as well. Horses three-year-olds and up off six-month layoffs and turf routes, 27% winners, positive ROI. Bowie's hero might need some pace help, but if he comes back in the form that he was in during his good run last year, he's going to be real tough to beat. Yeah, I mean, look, he's the kind of horse where just strictly from a number standpoint, he has all those, he checks all those boxes. From a class standpoint, he's a grade one winner. He's won a number of nice races. Uh, he's been favored in a number of these races against big names like Catapult and Sharp Samurai, who when he was at his best, uh, he's the kind of horse that I feel like if he shows up with his best effort, he is the horse to beat in here, no question about it. I'm just a little bit leery off this kind of a layoff. Fascinating entrance, the five Wentwood. Internationally renowned trainer Dermot Weld is sending a horse to the States to run in the San Francisco Mile. This horse just won three weeks ago in Ireland, going a mile and a quarter. We'll get Lasix for the first time. Has not been competing in the best races over there, however, and I just wonder if this is actually a little bit of a step up in class. And also worth noting, he won that race just a few weeks back going a mile and a quarter, and he's going to be going considerably shorter here. His mile races over in Ireland, they leave a little bit to be desired, as you may have mentioned, against slightly inferior company. Lasix go on, look crazier, things have happened, and you don't need to be a superstar to be competitive here. Um, I just, I'm still kind of against him. Let's take a look at our top selections for the grade three San Francisco mile. Matt, I wanna talk about your top pick, the number two Blitzkrieg, who has just been awesome in his last three races going down the hill. He's left no doubt in any of those races. He beat a couple of next now winners actually in his most recent start. Has the improvement been He's found a home going down the hill at six and a half, which he won't face on Saturday. Or is it just a well-bred horse figuring the game out? Well, I think it's probably a combination of the two. I think Doug O'Neill certainly got the best out of this horse. I like that he's paired up career buyer tops of 90. I think he's going to move forward here, stretching out to a mile. And I recognize his career record at a mile leaves a little bit to be desired. But he's still a little on the goofy side because he was swapping leads down the hill last time. And I don't, don't love that, to be honest. But... I think he's going to trip out in a spot like this. And again, I do think there's going to be a forward move here. To be honest, I was torn between two horses, between this horse and the seven, Grecian Fire, who we can talk about real quick. But I look at it and say, you know what? I, I just want a horse that I think is going to get a good trip in here that can sit off of a horse. If you believe Many Roses is going to feel the effects of that layoff, I think there's a real chance that Blitzkrieg is the one that could inherit this thing, turn him for home. Whether he's good enough or not, we'll find out. But Grecian Fire is another one. If you just look and see what he's done on grass, especially last summer, I think if he runs that Cal Dream, I think he's got a big chance. And I really think that was the question. I was going to get to your second pick, Grecian Fire. It's, people are going to look at his turf record and say one for nine. Oh, he's a synth horse. He just won last time out on a synthetic surface. He has run figs on turf that are certainly good enough to win this race. And I love the way Hollendorfer used that last race at six. You could argue that six is short for this horse. He stormed home to win. And I had a feeling that was a prep. Hollendorfer, I don't think, would have cared one way or the other if he ran second in that race. Grecian Fire might be the interesting price play, and I know you're going to be using him in multiple race wagers as your second pick behind Blitzkrieg. Yeah, it really was a bit of a coin flip for me between those two horses. I think they're both going to be playable prices. Grecian Fire, I have a sneaky feeling he's going to run big here in this race, but I ultimately ended up going with the horse with a little more tactical speed than Blitzkrieg. Both horses will be fair prices, to be sure. Not sure if that's the case with Bowie's hero. Line maker at Golden Gate made him the morning line fan. Favorite. He could be the favorite. I have a feeling favoritism might go to River Buenoes recency. I usually don't like playing these kind of layoff horses, especially off terrible races. I like D'Amato's record off the bench with these kind of horses. I like Bowie's hero when he is right. They've been pointing for this race for a while. I think this is the right spot. He'll be my top pick in the San Francisco Mile. Again, nice card at Golden Gate on Saturday. Get involved with a DRF 
Bets account. Deposit 100, bet with 250. All the details are there for you. Sign up is quick and easy. Bets.drf.com. Approximate post time for the mile, the San Francisco mile, 510 Pacific. Good luck.